Roger's with us now from outside the theater with Morgan. Good morning, Roger. Yeah, Pat, good morning. Yeah, this two building destination for culture. There's a museum inside, there's a tavern, and of course, a theater that has staged plays since the 1960s and all kinds of films and entertainment. Well, this could be the final time that this building's around. Things may change very quickly as the owners have uh, lost uh, their, their ownership here. For Morgan and Jeannie Otley, running Theater 80 St. Mark's in the East Village has not just provided their livelihood, but also their home. They lived in an apartment above the theater until they were evicted on April 5th. The little things that you suddenly realize you can't do that really strike home. And the idea that uh, every day uh, you wonder where your next meal is going to come from. The Otways were locked out of the two building complex complex near 2nd Avenue, which houses an off-Broadway theater founded by Morgan Otway's father 58 years ago, a tavern, and the Museum of the American Gangster. The businesses were devastated by COVID shutdowns, and a pre-pandemic mortgage the Otways took out went into the leaving them more than $12 million in the hole. A bankruptcy auction is set for May 9th. This is an irreplaceable institution, and once it's gone, it's gone forever. So these two weeks are what we have to make sure that a loss that will be mourning for generations uh, doesn't happen. Um, now is the time we've got to act. Otway has suggested the city take the property through eminent domain and allow their newly formed nonprofit to continue to run the cultural destination. Having the city help us to create the not-for-profit but then casting us loose in the last 10 days or so that we can actually save the place is, is at the end of the day, meaningless. We need decisive action from the city to save this building and this institution. Currently, the Otways are staying in a room provided by a neighborhood priest who's an old friend. They're holding out for a miracle to somehow get them back inside a place filled with so much performing arts and family history. The worst part is the uncertainty. And the idea that um, having to ask for help from friends is extraordinarily difficult, but you've always been the one extending help to others. For now, the Otways are forced to walk away from Theater 80 when they would much rather be walking in to stage a play or simply be home again. And Pat, you know, we reached out to the mayor's office and basically what they said, you know, they were able to fast track that not-for-profit status for Theater 80, which was great, which allows them to get, you know, loans and grants. But that being said, the idea of eminent domain I think won't work at this point because it just, with the bank, federal bankruptcy process, it just takes too long to be able to do it by May 9th, uh, just isn't an option at this point. So basically the outlay is holding out for a miracle, hoping maybe for an angel to come in and uh and help them out here and, and so you know you have two things going on here you have this great cultural destination here in the east village that is going to disappear not only that but then you have the outways who are now homeless well i think sometimes we see in these situations that that uh, things are getting worse for a cultural organization but they're they're trying to tap into existing donors they're trying to do what they can to keep costs under control but but it, it, it tends to spiral upon itself and then ultimately they end up in a crisis like this is yeah, and, you know, for the Otway, so during the pandemic, obviously, they kind of shut down, and they tried to play by the rules during that time, but, you know, they didn't have any income in, and then they have to take out loans, and, and then the next thing you know, they wind up here, and, you know, we talked about the great history here, uh, your good man, Charlie Brown, began his run here with, get this, Gary Bird off Radar from Nash, mm -hmm. with play Charlie Brown, Bob Balaban, Les Linus, and guess one of the ushers was Billy Crystal, so, I mean, just a lot of history in there. And we'll wrap up this half hour with a quick